Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's another gloomy Saturday. Here in VA, but I mean, hey. I hit the mother load this morning. We came to Royal Farms and I literally picked up six out of I'm debating if I should go back, but these are my favorite drinks. Like this red plum favor. Favor. This red plum um Nantucket Nectar's favorite flavor. <sighs> All time favorite. I picked up six out of the eight they had. I decided to leave two for somebody else, but I don't know if I should really leave them. But we're waiting on our food. My mom is um, actually inside waiting on our food. And yeah, I just wanted to come on, say good morning, and let y'all know I hit the mother load this morning. And that's about it. I also never talk about it much, but I am a reader. I love my Amazon Kindle. And this is the current book that I'm reading, Sin 2. I had just finished Mr. Sin. Love these books. Mafia, violence, knight in shining armor, <laughs> the drama. I'm here for it. So I am, uh, what is it, 35% into the book. I just started this one this morning. So far, so good. I love it. Right before I started that series, I started this one. Um, also a mafia series. Love these gentlemen here. It gives me hope for real life. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. As I was stating, I love my Kindle. I really want to find like a book club or somebody else who's into what I'm reading where we can read the same book, chit chat, talk about it. Because the gossip be real. Like I really need somebody on my level with these books. Oh, this is I'm tickled. Wrong box. Yeah. Oh, that box is. <laughs> I can get it open. Then she took some back home it's lady business time y'all know what that means i have been fighting this headache off and on since thursday friday i don't know so i'm taking something out i have also committed to starting a new crochet project mark my words as today is march 9th as of today i have five months to get this project done Chris Brown's concert is July 9th, which is also my mom's birthday. Yes, we will be in attendance, and I had the bright idea to crochet him a blanket. And as I stated to my co-workers the other day when we found this out, you will see him, A, a picture holding that blanket. B, I'm going to be in that picture. I'm going to get back there. I'm going to manifest it. I'll put it into the universe. It's happening. It's happening. Really quick, I want to show what exactly I will be crocheting. Just so you guys have a kind of an idea. I did do another black and white photo. Simply because number one, black and white photos work a lot easier. But also because that's Kevin eating his food. <laughs> but also because it'll be um, like a little more hectic trying to trying to do that with So this is what I will be crocheting. Moving my head out the way so you can see. And right now I need to go through this bag of yarn to see what colors I already have. I know I'm definitely gonna need more, for sure. There's no doubt about it. But I just opened up this bag. I literally ripped it open <laughs> to see what yarn that I have in here on hand right now that I can use. And then I'm gonna get this project started. Hopefully I can, uh, I really want to get it started today, but like I said, I'm battling this headache. So the first step is just basically see what I have. I know I need more. Um, looking right now, I know I definitely need white and a, uh, I need white and I definitely need a lighter, a lighter shade of gray. Blue. Looking at what I have, I definitely need to pick up more yarn before I start. I prefer this black because this black is more of a a deeper black, whereas this one looks a little bit more like ashy. 
so we're going to x this out so i definitely need to get black yarn i have this shade of gray in the project but i also need a lighter shade and that's the crazy part because i know i have that yarn around here somewhere i'm gonna have to dig in my closet because i know for a fact that i have the lighter where do i have a piece in here I was looking through this little pile because it's like this. No, that's not color. I have, I know I have more yarn here. I definitely need a lot more white. White is also a main part of the project. I do need more of this gray, but I also need a lighter gray, which is the one I said I know I have in here somewhere. Then I also have these two shades of gray that will also work because the gray is basically what I actually need to also help balance out this project. So I need to write down that I need more black yarn. I definitely need more white yarn and gray for sure. The different tones of gray. So I won't be starting today after all because start off the blanket. I actually need those colors literally starting from the bottom. I just realized the type of gray that I was trying to say is what I'm wearing and then a lighter gray that's just like almost white excuse me i want to go check my workout room because i have also have yarn stored away in there and containers and it's a box of yarn that i also have put away um I can check this box here. You can't even see because it's dark. I need to open up this window. Let some light in. Whoa. So this was another box that I was talking about where I had put yarn. I definitely see white. That's green. I just put everything back. No luck over there. But this is crazy because I looked in this bag to see if it was yarn. And I literally just found my old Chris Brown hoodie. It's from the Fame album. Clearly I got all distracted because that was not what I was looking for. But it seems like I'm going to have to start from scratch with buying the yarn that I actually need for this project. So that I make sure I have enough because it is a fairly large blanket. Kevin, this guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on to Michael's website, shop for yarn and put everything in my shopping cart that I need. And I just order everything all over, just so I know I'm good. I'll be back in a bit. Good morning and happy Sunday. I know y'all like, why she look like yesterday? That is literally because before we stepped out yesterday, I had just threw my sweatshirt on and these bottoms. And I did it again today. <laughs> we aren't going anywhere. We're running out to run our errands and get our things done. And as you can see, I don't even know if you guys noticed, but I started taking my hair out. My hair did not like the product combination that I put in. Last week, my hair has been itching all week, so I'm going to wash it when I shower when we come back, and I'm going to have to go into my product bin that's in my closet to 
get out the product that I normally use, which is my braid gel, to like slick my roots. So I'm gonna be doing not many twists, but like medium to small twists, because they definitely won't be many. I'm turning the TV on for the dogs because while we're gone, I just leave the TV on for them to have noise, something to listen to, watch. I gotta go there on my camera. But once again, happy Sunday. And we're just gonna get to it. I'm trying to show you guys that I finished that book last night. So the next book to the series is... It's not missing. We didn't even upload up here. Hold on. And I'm on to the next book and last book in this series, which is Missing, which is the third part, clearly, as you can read. <sighs> then I have to find another series. Ooh, this looks so good. Do I need it? No, but am I gonna eat it? Yes. That's what I get. I shouldn't have ate that because now I'm feeling a little sick. Where what my mom called? What you call it? Not Sephora, you called it. Who? Sephora. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. She is on a mission. She wants free perfume. Actually. <laughs> She going to get her some free perfume. Yeah, you're going to get me some too. Oh, and I got to get her some too. <laughs> My bad, I turned her off, y'all. Oh. <laughs> I'm not fooling with you. What if they don't do it anymore? You said some who? No, I see Doke, Doke, Doche, and Cabana, Armani. Oh yeah, that's I like this black opium. I'm gonna have to get one of these for myself. It smells so good. So unfortunately, they stopped doing the little, little free perfumes or the free under perfumes. Yeah, yeah, they stopped doing them when COVID hit, and they haven't brought them back. But at least I know what she wants for Mother's Day, and I got to get that black oh opium. What does it smell like? Mm. Mm. Smell like eating. <laughs> Finally got my life together, but I forgot. I keep forgetting this thing is broke. I think I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair real quick. Um, I've had it in. It's been air drying for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Well, it's been t-shirt drying, maybe about 15, 20 minutes. And I haven't added any product in because I don't want to burn my hair off. But I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it real quick before it's time to eat dinner. So I blow dry my hair. <laughs> And I had eczema. Well, I have eczema. And it hadn't flared up in a while. So apparently, nine times out of ten, that is what's going on with the front of my head is my eczema flaring up again. So I'm gonna have to set up an appointment with my primary doctor to see um what are they called? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Set up an appointment with my primary doctor to get me a referral so that I can go and see a dermatologist so I can get something to treat my scalp. What I am going to do before I actually start my hair is just grease my scrap, scrub, grease my scalp all the way through with this blue magic on the vlog or something while I go ahead. Yeah. just blow drying my hair earlier without putting anything on it because I didn't want to fry my hair I'm going to apply this healing oil to each section and then I'm going to 
let's try that again <laughs> i'm going to apply some healing oil to each section with a small bit of this leave-in conditioner and i did it that way simply because my hair was soaking wet and the weather is in between changing the, you know the changing phases and stages so with that being said i honestly didn't want to walk out with wet hair or fry my hair because i've noticed a difference when i apply something like this to my hair and i blow dry it my hair like my hair now it definitely feels a lot softer a lot lighter versus when i do that and i put product on it it that it honestly just feels fried if i drop one more thing restarted the tree hut video i need to finish it at another target and then the bloom video i need to also get the pink hibiscus lotion that's like the big tubey lotion but i already put it in my Sad little one. 